Staying here in the nation, some argue vaccine pass forces people to get their shots even if they have underlying health issues or have experienced side effects. Starting Monday, the country allows more people to be exempt from that system. Shin Yeon explains further. Originally, the only way to get a vaccine pass waiver was to file a report to health authorities documenting severe side effects after vaccination. The authorities would then determine whether those side effects were actually caused by the vaccine. But from Monday, vaccine pass waivers are for anyone who's been hospitalized with vaccine side effects, and there's no need to prove a link. To qualify, you have to have been hospitalized within six weeks of getting vaccinated, and you have to show a record of your stay in the hospital. As before, waivers are still granted also to those with severe side effects who are advised by a doctor to postpone or cancel their vaccination and those who were infected with COVID-19 and recovered. One woman told me, asking not to mention her name, that she got her first vaccine shot just before the new waivers were announced. She said that without proof of vaccination, it was hard to see her friends or get into most public venues. I'm totally on board with this decision by the government, but I wish they had allowed waivers for more people from the beginning so that people with underlying conditions didn't have to get vaccinated just to get the pass. Requiring proof of vaccination at most public facilities has been controversial. The authorities say vaccine passes are a key part of the COVID-19 exit strategy, but some say the policy infringes on individual rights and the freedom to choose to get vaccinated or not. COVID-19 is here to stay, especially with the spread of the Omicron variant. That means vaccine passes might not be the right answer. The government should concentrate on vaccinating those at high risk, like the elderly, rather than requiring everyone to get more shots. Getting a vaccine pass waiver under the new standard requires a doctor's note, indicating side effects within the first six weeks of inoculation. Then the waiver is registered on the various mobile apps like Coof for use when checking in at places like restaurants and cafes. Shin Yeun, Arirang News.